Hi guys, so let's learn the popular song from Frozen called Let It Go. So there are basically three to four sections in the song. There's a verse. There's obviously the famous chorus, Let it go, let it go. So I'm going to probably teach you that first. And then you have your bridge, which is a very interesting connecting part, which... Right? And then you have that famous piano intro. Right? You have that. So I'm going to teach you the piano intro last. We're going to start with the the chorus let it go and the song is basically on a flat major and most of the chorus is one five six four so that's one of a flat which is a flat five is e flat six is f minor and four is d flat so basically let it go let it go na 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 no let it go let it go na 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 so that happens basically three times and then na 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 Okay, so in the first chorus, when you play Let It Go, we use broken chords at the top register. Let me just show you that here. So that's Let Go, A flat, Let It Go, E flat, na na, F minor. So do that twice for two cycles. So A flat, E flat, F minor, D flat major. Again, A flat, let it go, E flat, na na, F minor, na na na. And then, na na. Here you can follow the singing itself. Na na. You can either you can you can come back down an octave on the piano and continue the broken chord pattern. Okay, so the first two lines again where where we go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Na 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 na. One more time, let it go. And then, so one, okay, and that's somewhere. So there, C minor and B major happen quickly. Very interesting chords, right? Na 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 na, and then the chord. So, I'm going to break this down uh, later, what happens to lead to each section. But for now, let's just focus on the chorus. And chorus 1, you play high. And then all the other choruses, I'll give you a pattern which I think works. Let it go. Let it go. E flat. Na na. F minor. Na da. D flat. Let it go. Let it go. Na na na. come to that a little later so let's now move into the verse part so in the verse part well in verse one what happens is you play the same tune as the intro along with the singer so the intro you play all that i've written in blue blue color here in this note sheet and start by playing it one octave higher 
and then for the verse you come down an octave when the singer starts singing so let's first look at the intro with only the right hand that's your line 1 Okay, and then line two. Okay. Let's do line one and line two. Okay. and line 3 and line 4 very very similar but one or two notes here and there okay so first first line is first half of the line 3 is same as first half of line 1 so in line 1 you did line 3 you're doing okay let's do line 3 and then the only thing which changes in line 2 and line 4 is just the last note so line 1 you go sorry line 2 e flat d flat and then line 4 you're doing is the chord is major okay let's look at that third line and the chords which go with this are f minor d flat major e flat major e, e flat major here yeah. and the first line b flat minor and the second line b flat major but hey it doesn't really matter much because in the left hand the piano basically plays fifth chords but if you're playing the chords of the song it will be f minor d flat major e flat major b flat minor the first time and the second time the second time the third line e flat back to minor and the fourth line na 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 that the end of li line 4 of the verse will be b flat sus 4 which is b flat e flat f you can add the b flat as well if you want and then come back to normal b flat major so if i'm just doing the chords of the verse uh i i'm sorry i digressed i'm finishing the entire verse and then we'll also add the intro to the verse and you'll already know it in the intro right so if you're playing chords in the verse section it will be f minor d flat major e flat major b flat minor second line d flat e flat b flat major your piano tune in the right hand can go with just fifth so if you are only playing chords then you can let someone else play the tune right but if you are also playing the tune then it's probably a nice thing to do the fifth chords so f fifth d flat e flat b flat so Let's repeat that F, D flat, E flat, B flat, all in fifths, right? One more time. Last time. Okay. 
So let's do that again. This is your intro where your piano will play the melody high and your uh, when it comes to the verse or the singing part you just take the whole thing and bring it down an octave. Okay, let's see how it sounds with the intro. Next. And then you play the same thing lower, right? So, and then it goes to the uh, the pre-chorus of the song. So before I do that, let me just do the entire verse 1 going to the pre-chorus 1. Okay, let's see how that sounds. You just hold chords F minor this is the third line D flat E flat B flat and then you hold na 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 da 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 okay now we are going to the pre-chorus don't let them know da 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 quite straightforward D flat Na 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 E flat Na 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 Oh well now they know Let it go Okay and the chorus I've already told you guys So let's look at the pre-chorus one more time Na 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 flat again well now they know let it go let it go that's what i showed you earlier right so this whole section pretty much repeats one more time and the song continues so let's just do verse going into pre chorus going into chorus so that we are very clear with everything okay And the verse starts. And then you hold the chords. And now hold it. Flat sus four may major pre chorus E flat na them no na 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 E flat na 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 well now they know let it go let it go da na 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 D flat let it go E flat let it go E flat. Na, 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 na. Now play the same chords lower. Na, he, na, na, ne, na, 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 na. The girl never bothered me anyway. Then goes to the next part. Okay, so I hope the intro, verse, pre chorus, and chorus are sorted for you guys. Now coming for the part between the chorus and verse 2 and then we look at the part between the chorus and the bridge and then of course the bridge and then I think we are done. So let's look at the chorus ending na 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 C minor B major the D flat la anyway so that's what you can do before the second tune okay
template higher if you want so that's the lead in you play that little tune and then we go back to verse 2 okay so na da da Okay, let me show you only the right hand. Okay, so I've written down the notes here. You can check it out, uh, or else just follow me as I play. basically playing the violin the string part right i've just adapted it on the piano so let's do it again from the end of the chorus one down there the cold never bothered me anyway was Just note for verse number two, we only do these two lines. We don't have to do the first two lines. It's just these two lines, and you can then go to the pre-chorus, chorus yet again, and at the end of chorus two, we then go to the bridge, which is a very interesting D flat driven section. Na 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 na. So you go. tough to do this part because there's a lot of orchestration but what i've basically adapted on the piano could be something like this na 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 la the cold never bothered me anyway and then or you can actually start it immediately na 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 and next part you can do a phrasing which i have written down here 3 plus 3 plus 2 so that means each chord is in 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 so na 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 still d flat now e flat So let me break that down for you. It's a little bit confusing. So from the singing part, na 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 na, two bars each of each chord. You repeat that, and then it goes to the chord change E flat. Na 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 na. and then you need to sustain these chords d flat e flat b flat minor d flat and you end with five hits of d flat or let it go let it go and the last chorus you could just play with a bang you can just play chords let it go And 
that's pretty much the end of the song where you end with a d flat major so let's just conclude guys we the song has quite a bit of things right so you have an intro that and then that carries on in the verse and then you have the pre chorus na 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 na, na. that takes you to the chorus let it go let it go right and at the endings of each chorus there are two very interesting passages one is it takes you to uh, an interlude you may want to rewind the video if you want to learn that and then the next second chorus ending takes you to the bridge basically playing the vocal line but you just play the chord the fifth chord ta ra na 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 in that 3 3 phrasing right so hope you guys learn something from this lesson have fun playing this amazing song cheers